So LJ asked, did they fix the scaling for Revit yet? So you don't have to like 13 exit every time. So anyone who's used Revit with Twinmotion knows this. So if I go to brick, right? And so um, by default, let's just change this back. So by default, this is what you're used to doing. If I throw this on here, what you'll notice is that to scale, it's very small, right? And so for a long time, that's what I was doing is I would hit it, I would click it and I would go to scale and I'd go like, I'd type in something ridiculous like 26, right? Or, or whatever it is, right? And then, you know, maybe not 26, maybe 13 to 12, right? So now you got what you need, but then you refresh it and you have to do it again, all that stuff. Well, LJ, I think that's who's asked it, right? Uh, just, so, just so you know, here's the tip. When you're placing Revit materials, in most cases, it's not all cases, but in most cases, if you click this little thing here and you, instead of doing from object UV, because the UVs from Revit transferring to, to Twinmotion just don't seem to work. If you do cubic UVs as your default option, when I drag this brick over, it will be to scale on your Revit model. So, and when you refresh it, it stays to scale. But if you're using Revit, um, pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time, if you use cubic UVs, you don't have to worry about the scale. And yes, LJ, I did the same thing as you for a long time. I materialed and scaled everything over and over and over again. I thought, this is crazy. And I don't even know how or when I discovered that. If not, you're welcome for now showing you. <laughs>